Oh, it's like. Last month, I quit my job, but today, we're buying a Ferrari. We're getting a Ferrari, and it may just be the world's cheapest Ferrari. Well, maybe not, but definitely the world's cheapest version of this one, and that may be a good thing or a really bad thing. And unfortunately, it's just about the worst weather ever to buy a car. I think I'm pretty stupid, but I'm not that stupid. I'm not gonna go buy a Ferrari in the rain. Because in my rule book, I think rule number one would be don't buy a car in the rain, don't buy a car at night. But I buy a lot of cars sight unseen, but generally I make the seller send a ton more pictures and stuff of things I wanna see if I'm buying it sight unseen. But I actually looked at this car a couple weeks ago and I passed. Didn't even wanna make the seller an offer. He had it listed for a certain price. I looked at the car, it wasn't worth it to me. Had a lot of little cosmetic issues, lots of things that I sort of just was like, you know, I could find a better car for the same price or maybe maybe like a couple bucks more. I respectfully declined and went on my way. The seller had contacted me a couple days later and said, hey, look, I'm interested in selling you the car. I'd love to see what you would do with it. And I'm open to offers. And I politely said, what I'd be willing to pay for the car would be an absolutely disrespectful offer. So I'm not even going to make it. Because as much as you guys think I'm probably like a low ball and jerk off, I try to respect people a lot. I'm not gonna like come and make you a really ridiculous offer. So I just was like, I'm not even gonna make it. Not even gonna do it. The next day he texted me and said he'd come down to a certain price. I said, that sounds all right, but I think I'll still pass. Really playing hard to get. So he said, make me, make me the offer you wanted to. I made him the offer and he said no. But there's a really dumb saying in sales and it's something like the best deal is when both parties are sort of unhappy or sort of happy. I don't know. So whatever. I hit him with the let's just meet in the middle and he took it. I guess I'm going to be a Ferrari owner. What type of clickbait asshole do you think I am? You think I'm going to claim to buy the world's cheapest Ferrari and not tell you what I paid for it? I will. But let's go check out the car first. That pedal coming in. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, dog? Let's go get some dumb cars. Yeah. Uh, we got any snacks for the trip? The Crocs. Uh, in a beard. We're going 40 <laughs> minutes away, so we may need to stop and get some cold cuts. Tent, tent on the roof. A stove back there. We've got some firewood. 13 gallons of water. For all you guys that aren't in LA, you have a very thin window of time to do stuff. So it's 11.40 a.m. We should be able to get up there in like 35 minutes, do the transaction as quickly as possible and try to make it back on the 405 South before traffic. That's like a mission. Yeah, and not get stuck in LA people not knowing how to drive in rain. I think we're good. <laughs> all right, coffees, Ferrari, let's go. <laughs> What is going on here? Absolutely love this. Full 405 shutdown. For that ladder, that yellow ladder right over there. God! As if traffic here doesn't suck enough. Had the entire 405 shut down because there was a ladder just laying in the middle of the road. The other day I almost hit a full blown couch on the 605. It's wild what you see out here. All right, we just got here. I'm not gonna film right away. So let me go talk to this guy and I'll show you the car. Figured it's only fitting to wear my Hyundai jacket when I go buy a Ferrari, but here it is. I'm taking it away from you. I know it's a sad day. Uh, my son shed a little tear last night because it's oh, been a long it can't time. be that sad when you have a I GT3. Know, know. Also, he's not, yeah, he's objectively, not this is a way better car than this, <laughs> but it's going to a good home. It is. It is. And like I said, as long as I have first right of refusal to buy it back when it's done, then we can uh, have a conversation next year. I think I give you. Here, the, he already you knows. I months. told him. I told him I don't keep cars forever, so this thing will be available soon, so he could buy it after I dump a ton of time, effort, and money into it. Nothing like buying a. Ferrari in the rain. I drove it a little bit. He let me drive it when I came and looked at it. Not much. So my first real drive will be in the pouring rain. Your fresh tires will be fine. You'll yeah, be fine. it's no, no big deal.
Oh my God, I bought a Ferrari and I'm terrified to drive it. <laughs> oh my God, this is sick. Yeah, I drove this car when I came and looked at it. I'm pretty respectful when I look at cars. I wasn't gonna romp on this dude's Ferrari that I came and looked at and ultimately didn't buy that day. So I've never really gotten to experience this. I, I've never driven Scottos. This is really my first time driving it. Driving it by yourself is always a lot different than, uh, you know, while you're making small talk and trying to drive a car, you're test driving. Not ideal conditions, it's pouring. We've got a bunch of traffic to sit in before we get home, but I'm excited. Excited. The guy I bought the car from, he actually did a lot of maintenance to this thing. He spent over $18,000 on it in the last two years. Did a timing belt, did a water pump, did all the pulleys, a bunch of power steering work, a recon, the AC. So he spent a lot of time and effort getting this car somewhat dialed mechanically. It still needs a lot of work, but a lot of the boring stuff is taken care of. But that doesn't mean I'm not absolutely terrified for the first drive. I don't know, there's something about getting a car for a good deal that makes you just feel like it's got all sorts of hidden problems. Brett seemed like a pretty honest dude. I don't think he was hiding anything, but there's still something to say about you feel like you got a great deal. You paid a lot less than you think something is worth. What's gonna go wrong? We'll go over the car. I'll show you everything about it. We'll talk about why I got it for so cheap and what I'm gonna do with it. But first I gotta do at least one little rip, man. Nope. There's this dumb thing on Ferraris, you gotta like turn the immobilizer off. I forget every time. I still don't know where the keyhole goes. Yeah. The reverse sequence on this is hilarious. You gotta like pull up and push back this little knob. Uh, visibility, absolutely horrible. But look at the engine, huh? Literally can't see anything. It is kind of funny. You could see right out through the challenge grill and stuff though. <laughs> so you don't really need a backup camera. The F1 gearbox needs like a friggin' full-blown tutorial on how to drive this thing. You pull both paddles in and put it in neutral. It's kind of sick. You rev it here. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, it's still really wet. That's yeah, pretty quick. Definitely not the weather to be ripping around in though. I sort of love the dual paddle in. It's kind of cool. All these like old school gauge. Look at this. Do a little second gear. This is pretty quick. That's not bad. <laughs> oh, this thing's sick. You gotta blip the throttle a little bit, just like you're driving it manual. It won't really do it that nice for you. Dude, this thing's cool. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I like it, it's fun. You know we gotta break in a car the same way, no matter what. So there's only one place to come. bought a Ferrari. It's a 1999 360 Modena. It's the F1 box, so it's sort of an automated manual. It's here, it runs, and it just made the drive down from the valley all the way down here to Long Beach. I figured the first place to come would be the DDE HQ so we can go break it in the way we normally did. These guys. I got a surprise for you. Welcome back. <laughs> Damon told me you can leave anything you want here as long as it's a Ferrari. That's right. It's, it's like the same quote from Fast and the Furious about beer and Corona, but cars. Dude, what? You guys make new merch? What is this? So cute. Uh, this is. <laughs> Dude, how do you like my grandma uh, racing edition you Ferrari? Said it was an ugly spec. I actually thought it was uglier than this. This isn't too bad. What's the what's on. the worst color oh, that I got this? you? Vlog life. It's not as ugly as I thought. There are uglier specs in my opinion. Yeah. Did, have this you is, seen the interior? This is neutral. Dude, the interior is my favorite. Neutral, hey, neutrals are in right now. Woo hoo hoo hoo. I don't know, man. Gold on tan is pretty bad. It's pretty ugly. 
But it's okay. I Look, I bought this car because it was really cheap, mainly because I think the spec is pretty bad, but I want to either paint it or wrap it. Yeah. I want to manual swap it. Yeah. It needs an exhaust right away. Like, we're going to build it. It's not going to stay like this. I promise. I promise you that this will be one of the funnest cars for the money because of the way it sounds, naturally aspirated V8. This is what Ferrari was known for. And number two, even though it's got the F1 gearbox, you can get a manually converted. I've already been playing the seat. I want to manually convert it. a little bit of that. Got to do a gated swap. Hey, we're going to go drive this thing around back and then we'll do a little walkthrough on the car inside the shop where it's not raining so you don't oh, have to yeah. deal with all this crap. What a place. Look at all these things. I almost fit right in. So in case you didn't hear that, I told Damon the reason why I bought this car, because I claimed it might be, you could back me up, world's cheapest Ferrari, or at least world's cheapest 360 mode in it. I would agree with that. I've actually never heard of anybody buying one of these cars, any real modern Ferrari, for under what he just told me. I thought I actually stole the show because I got my 599 for 90 grand, so sub 100K. Which is, um, a, it's a way different car. That's a lot of car for money. Yeah, but you destroyed me in yeah. price. All right. Like destroyed me in price. Okay. This car, running and driving, 360 Modena. It's got 45,000 miles on it. It's got 63% left on the clock, probably less now. I don't want to talk about it, boys. <laughs> Just did a timing belt, he just did a water pump, a bunch of other stuff. It's like, I think almost $20,000 in labor. It's big bucks. The timing belt on this car is a really big one. I paid $47,000 for this car. Stole it! Which is Stole it. less than my FDRX7. I couldn't pass it up. It was a car that I've wanted for a long time. I really wanted to build an F430, but those are like, triple the price yes. and I came across this car I went and looked at it I said earlier I didn't even want to buy it because he missed the mark for the dollar amount me and the buyer had a bunch of conversations he wanted to see this car go on and get changed so he was like I'll give you a killer deal on it now it's here that's crazy yeah 47 grand just so, let, that, let that sink in for a minute and like the car has a lot of rules that I would break. For the most part, it checks most of my boxes. It's clean title, no accidents. It hasn't had any major paint work done to it. It's just a bad spec and it needs like ball joints, it needs tie rods, really basic stuff, but it's all there. Dude, this is clean. Not bad. It smells funny in here. Yeah, it smells like a little bit of a metallic-y, you know. Oh, and by the way, when you lean on that like that, that's why that hand yeah. thing's there, because people used to burn themselves on these. Oh, I bet. All the time. But, but it sounds pretty cool. Like, the intake noise is really dope. The exhaust is way too quiet. It's you come wait, off you wait until you unleash the actual potential of this engine. Yeah. Because with an exhaust system, this car can sound like an old OG yeah. F1, F1 car. It needs to do a tune, exhaust, and a manual swap. Like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you got the challenge grill, which he, is awesome. He put this on, which is cool. Challenge yeah. grill is good. Otherwise, completely stock. Like, even down to a factory back box, yeah. stock brakes. He just put new tires on it. It's a pretty mechanically sound. Like, the dude cared about it, which was nice. But I'm excited for it. I think it's a really, like, I mean, hearing Scotto's car drive, I was like, that thing must be so fun to own something that sounds like that. 3.6 liter V8. Like, think about that. 3.6 liter V8. It's insane. So for the most part, I'm really excited. It's gonna be a build that I think I can do pretty easily. It doesn't need any major work. There's no like pulling motors and custom fabrication. It's like, I wanna make this thing look a lot cooler, drive really cool. And I think it's honestly one of the best driver's error cars that you can get for the dollar. I mean, these could be had all day for in the 70, $80,000 range, completely sorted, better color combos, lower mileage, but I don't think it gets much, much better than this. just put the Ferrari under wraps because Damon doesn't want anyone to see this ugly thing here. But uh, Zach showed up. Oh yeah. And uh, let me get your take on this thing. Oh, that's sick, I like it. Champagne. Oh, it's like left in the sun, clear coat, yellow. Hey, hey it's not that bad. It's just, uh, it's a gold silver. I mean, is it gold that's silver or is, that, or is the clear coat slightly tinted from 
being left outside. No, no, the paint's actually in good shape. It's just like a gold silvery color. Have you told Zach what you bought it for? Car gurus. Like car gurus. <laughs> yeah, it's on car gurus. Yeah, yeah I told them. That's crazy that he bought yeah. it for like 40, 40 something, right? 47, yeah. Sorry we didn't get to drive this thing or do any driving impressions, but the weather is absolutely horrible out today, but I had to go pick up this car, so I'm going out of town tomorrow, and I wanted to get this thing home, because once you get a good deal and the person agrees on it, I have to act fast before they decide otherwise. So maybe we'll do another video this week, or the video next week will be a full walkthrough on the car on how I got it so cheap, what's wrong with it, what's good about it, and what the plans are for it. And then we'll do some like driving impressions and stuff. So I am really excited to drive this thing. So I can't wait to get back. I just want to rip this thing through the gears and hear what it sounds like and feel what it's like to drive. So next video, we're taking the Ferrari on the road. But until then, I'm going home to order parts. I like it, we're right onto it. Gotta fit up some wheels. These have to be yours. There's no way Damon's got a work CR Kai's. Hey, hey, hey. 